Hello, this is the ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Tuesday, November 1st, 2016. Happy NaNoWriMo! And yes, I have, uh, I took today off. I've already got, I think I'm about 3,300 words in. So it's, it's good. I've, I've got, um, I've got chapters going. Or I've got a chapter going. I'm on the second chapter. I'm trying to do longer chapters. Uh, usually my chapters are around 1,500 or so, 1,500 to 2,000. I'm trying to do like 2,500 work chapters. Um, I really want to give this work enough room to breathe. I'm not trying to just bang it out. Uh, and if it takes it, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet, meet the 50,000, but. Uh, if it takes it into December to do that, then I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But uh, what I thought I'd talk about today is I have voted. We got absentee ballots, and we and we sat and filled those out yesterday. The wife was supposed to drop them off today at the city offices. That's probably already been done. Uh, you know, normally I may not even share this, but but you know, I, I did talk about it earlier and, and said I would do it. So in the in the in the uh, as far as who I am going to vote for, it was a very um, tortured decision. Yeah, you know, I, I, and really, what what it kind of came down to was a very simple equation. You know, I shared an episode before of why I don't like Hillary Clinton, why I will not vote for Hillary Clinton. I guess I should say, um, I do not know her personally. So, if you're really interested in that, you can probably if you go searching for Hillary Clinton, you'll find that one pretty fast. And. Yeah, if anything, if anything, there are more reasons now than when I than when I shared that. Um, you know, but I, I can't say as I'm in love with Donald Trump either. Um, you know, he he. Yeah, I, I don't I don't necessarily believe all the you know all the 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 titles the the monikers. That's what word, what's the word, the descriptors that are labeled on him. I mean, he he says things that are, you know, at best morally ambiguous, and the press just has a field day with them. And and the few that I have gone to the source material and, and actually listened to what he said, I can see how they spinned it like that, or at least distilled it down to its ugliness, ugliest potential. But I don't necessarily know that um, you know his personal views are, are what that the, the the media and the Hillary campaign is portraying them to be. And the reality is, is like I said, it's a simple equation. If I'm not going to vote for Hillary and the Democrats, and while there are a number of of things about the libertarians that I agree with from a platform perspective. Not everything um, necessarily, but you know I don't agree with any of these parties. You know I, I would just assume I, I actually would like to have a three-party system. I wish we had a viable third option, but the reality is we don't. Um, you know Gary Johnson for the libertarian. He's he's the biggest, and you know, recent polls I've seen have him somewhere between eight and four percent. He's not even in double digits, and I just can't I just can't uh, see throwing my vote that way. So, as you've probably deduced by now, uh, we vote, we voted for Trump. It was very much a hold your nose, <laughs> hold your nose and vote kind of experience. I mean, it's he's not somebody that we necessarily feel, you know, completely represents our values uh, any more than Hillary does. But but just as far as the basic uh, stance of how we think the, the country should be run, 
the Republican Party as a whole comes a lot closer than the Democrats, you know, as far as what we believe. So, so yeah, so we've cast that ballot. Now, the reality is it probably doesn't matter. This is a Democratic state. It always leans Democrat. It has the entire time I've been voting for presidential elections, it goes Democratic because you've got you've got the the, the you know large African American population that tends to vote Democratic. You've got all of the uh, labor unions here that are all firmly in the Democratic camp. So this state usually goes uh, Democratic. So you know if for some reason this state flips over to Republican then something extraordinary is going to happen on the political scene here. Um, but I'm not really expecting that to be. I mean, all of our elections have been very polarized uh, for in, the, in, you know, what, since back to Bush v. Gore, pretty much. Um, you know, the kind of... of, of you know, margin of victory like Ronald Reagan have, we just haven't seen. So, and I'm not really expecting to see it this time. Now, there are some people that have said that this is going to be like our country's Brexit and and um, Trump is going to, to win huge. Now, I guess we'll see. The polls are not reflecting that, but, you know, polls have been wrong before. Uh, yeah, I think the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems I have with Hillary it is is funny you know, you think with her being a woman that you know now we, you know if assuming she wins you know now there would be a woman in charge you think that would be a draw um, but the reality is she's old school she's old school politics there's really no progressiveness about her candidacy um, at all you know she's using the same talking points she isn't even really i haven't really heard other than maybe a speech here or there at a women's groups where she's really going to try to uh do much for women necessarily uh, but she seems to just use the same old talking points of oh we got to tax the rich and give to the poor and you know i'm robin hood kind of bs so so yeah that's what we voted for uh just to show you i'm i'm, I'm also not completely in the Republican camp. Um, we also voted for a local tax for a regional transportation authority. So let them show you that not all people that are conservative slash Republican are against us things categorically. But uh, I'm going to let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow uh, and I'll be talking to you then. So be seeing you.